Seven years ago today, I scored 138 points in a basketball game. 138 points by one guy. And if you don't believe me, you don't know Jack. Jack Taylor from Grinnell joins us now here on SportsCenter. It's just another night at Grinnell College. He's Jack Taylor, who is the nation's human scoring machine of Grinnell College. Jack Taylor. Jack Taylor scored 138 points. Stephen A is shrugging over this kid scoring 138 points. I'm not. I think it's incredible, although I score 138 on Stephen A every day. So. And right away, I was thrown into the media spotlight. LeBron James, he nicknamed me Sir Jack. And Kobe Bryant, my childhood idol, had this to say. That's crazy, man. I don't care what level you're at. It's going 138 points. It's pretty insane. And I was even on the Jimmy Kimmel show. A five foot ten sophomore named Jack Taylor broke the NCAA record for most points scored by a player in a game. Jack Taylor. Hello, Jack. How you doing? You know, Will Chamberlain scored 100 points in an NBA game, and he claimed to have slept with 20,000 women. How close are you to that record? <laughs> Um, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, very, uh, far behind. You're all, okay. <laughs> so the big questions a lot of people have for me today is this. Why don't you play anymore? Why don't you coach? Why don't you train athletes? Why don't you talk more about your basketball career? And the answer for me is simple. I don't want to be defined by my 138 point game. I don't want the rest of my life to be looking back on what I once did. Because if that's all I'm known for, then I did a pretty bad job with the rest of my life. So at home, my walls, they're not covered with my basketball accomplishments. And I'm okay with that. In all my videos in the past year, not one mentions my basketball career. And I'm okay with that. Because instead of resting on my laurels, I'm striving to create new ones. And instead of looking back on what I once accomplished, I want to look forward on what's next to accomplish. So today, on the seven year anniversary of my big game, I'm thankful for scoring 138 points because it pushes me. It continues to push me to become better in every area of my life so that other things define who I am. I'm thankful for my 138 point game because it taught me this, that even if you come from a small town like Black River Falls or Alma Center or Melrose, that you can still do big things in this world. That it's not about where you come from that determines your success, it's about what's inside of you that does. So I hope that I can encourage young students here in Jackson County to work hard and dream big. So today I'm finally talking about scoring 138 points in a game. It makes me a little bit uncomfortable to talk about it, but I love the fact that it's made my family and this hometown proud of what I accomplished. And I'm still so thankful for all my coaches and all my teammates who made this record possible. It's an event in my life that I hope doesn't define me, but rather pushes me to do bigger and better things with the rest of my life while encouraging others on their journey. And as always, I appreciate you. I appreciate this online community on Facebook and Instagram. I'll see you guys soon.